Hey filmmakers, Shung here. In this video, we're talking about renting camera gear and my experience with that and also the actual money that is involved for renting and also the pros and cons of renting camera gear. So my experience, I've rented actually in the Netherlands and in Hong Kong and uh, yeah, quite a lot of different gear from uh, professional lighting, photography gear and also film gear and all kinds of things. Uh, yeah, it's quite similar uh, at uh, yeah, both countries and I think most countries will basically have the same standards. So, the main thing with renting cameras and camera gear is that it is just really much cheaper than buying, of course, the certain cameras or certain gear. But uh, yeah, it is a few things that you do need to know. So first thing, if you see like a camera that you want to rent it, make sure that you book it ahead of time instead of thinking that you could just drop in to the yeah, rental company and just directly pick it up because a lot of gear are yeah of course if it's a camera that is very well known and uh, yeah just trending at that time maybe a lot of people are going to rent the same camera so you want to actually reserve or book your camera or uh, a lot of your gear ahead of time so you make sure they have that uh, booked or reserved for you when you want to pick it up. And also a uh, nice thing is that it is not the same day uh, pick up and also giving it back. It actually is like a uh, yeah almost three days period thing. So the main thing is like the day that you're picking it up is actually a day before your shoot and that is around uh, 4 p.m. or after 4 p.m. It really depends on the rental company what kind of time they set. But often it's uh, off after 4 p.m. that you can pick it up. And then basically you could just directly start and film with it. Or if you're yeah, not quite sure, you can also still like try and test out your camera a day uh, ahead of time before your actual shoot and then at night of course make sure you have like enough batteries for the next day and uh, yeah the next day of course will be your shooting day and so you can have like entire 24 hours of shooting and the day after that is the return day and um, often will be either returned before 12 p.m or uh, yeah before uh, 1 p.m. So it really also depends on the rental company. So you do have quite a lot of time with the camera So you can actually use it like for a whole entire day or actually more than that uh, Yeah, with actual renting uh, of course the renting prices. So um, Yeah, the prices of course vary with different gear from uh, audio gear and uh, of course the camera itself but also like cameras can vary quite a lot from uh, 20 US dollars to uh, even like 1000 US dollars a day for renting it because you have like cameras that normally cost like 2000 US dollars to buy brand new but you have also cameras like Aries that would cost you $50,000 to buy brand new so of course those kind of rental prices will vary in a quite big extent however uh, we're not going to talk about the more high end right now we're more talking about of course the more lower end so for example uh, a week ago i've rented the blackmagic pocket 6k the reason why i needed that camera for a day was uh, for a specific shoot that we were required to use that camera in combination with a certain um, lens so we used that camera for that day and uh, yeah we did the job and um, yeah, the reason why I rented it instead of actually buying it, rental price of it is 50 US dollars a day compared to buying it cost 2000 US dollars. And honestly, it is a camera that I don't see myself using it that much. Uh, so that's why I wouldn't really buy it because there is just too many things I don't really like about that camera. However, for certain jobs, some uh, yeah, maybe for even like certain shoots, some of the directors or uh, people producing it want to have a certain look, they want to have a certain camera for it. And yeah, then you have to rent that camera for that. So basically for the new price of 2000 US dollars, I could rent the camera for 40 days. And honestly, I only needed it for one day. So um, yeah, I'm not 
losing that much money plus this rental price I could include into the cost of like the yeah company to actually rent the comp uh, rent the camera because this is a price that is low that they would actually pay for that too and of course your own uh, fee of working for them but if you would say like two thousand US dollars for that camera uh, in in your uh, price package it would be kind of odd for them to see like why are they buying you a camera for this shoot so honestly it is of course much better if they see like oh the, this camera costed 50 uh, or is uh, included in the shoot but it costed rental of 50 US dollars and they'd be fine with that um, other thing of course is like the price of it is not only the rental price so you do need to also have a some amount uh, next to your uh, rental price so most of the time the there is a deposit uh, unless you're really well known or friends with the rental company often they uh, yeah if they know you're somebody who's always on time bringing everything back uh, in order then of course they uh, yeah are friendly with you that they would uh, let go of the deposit however if they don't know you that well they often um, will still ask you to pay a deposit and most of the time the deposit is either the full price of the new camera or the half of it so uh, for the pocket 6k was like half of it so uh, brand new is uh, 2000 so uh, yeah the deposit was a thousand US dollars so it wasn't that bad uh, plus the money you get actually back or the deposit you do get back when you return the camera so it's not really a big issue uh, unless you actually break the camera but you're still cheaper off if you're just only using it for a single day but uh, for example if you're doing a feature film that is literally going to take you 40 days or more than 40 days then you could consider to buy the camera because basically uh, yeah renting it more than those amount of days you're going to pay more for the rent than for buying it brand new of course some of the rental companies also even give you like a full set like with a cage and everything around so that makes it a nice full package that you just could rent for a certain price in one time and uh, still be cheaper off than buying the camera with all the accessories needed better way to earn money because like sometimes the camera changes so fast that you're yeah like you bought the camera and they already have like a new version out and you feel like you're just chasing the new version while you're spending a lot of money buying and then selling off your old version so you feel like uh, also like collecting a lot of or either that you're collecting cameras and you have too many cameras around so renting is actually a good thing to just um, like just time to time just use a camera and of course also like if you just want to try out a camera you can just uh, rent it for a day and just really get the hang of the camera and see if it's getting the shot that you want for your shoot and uh, yeah not be really wasting a lot of money done buying a camera that you didn't want to um, yeah the con on the other hand is something you might uh, occur uh, it really depends on uh, the rental company. So the Blackmagic Pocket 6K, we had like a certain con. So the main thing was like it was a rental company we work with or rented for the first time with. So we didn't know um, like how well they take care of their camera. But once we gotten the camera in hand, it looks so dodgy that we were the whole day afraid of that the camera would just break at a certain point not because we were handling it but mainly because how it was handled because there was all kind of tape around the camera and it just looks very very dodgy and uh, also like while shooting we see like that the fault meter of it was all wrong it was going up and down and uh, yeah it literally also uh, instead of giving us a battery warning it just literally just stopped recording luckily it stopped recording at uh, certain times that uh, we didn't have like something important and actually did uh, corrupted a 
those kind of files. But uh, yeah, it is something you don't have to always worry about because most of the comp uh, rental companies often take well care of their gear. But uh, one thing I might advise for sometimes, uh, if you feel like the camera might be a little bit dodgy, you could uh, directly at the rental company as if they have another model or uh, of course, uh, yeah, see if there's also a second camera so you have like a backup camera on hand so you rent two of them but of course like you have double the deposit and double the price of it that is something you need to uh, like take care of but like of course for a big big shoot uh, for like a big feature you might want to have like a second unit uh, and have also like as it's used it's as like a second angle but also have it if one of the camera would break that you have like a camera that would still work uh, instead of having like a big breakdown that you're only renting one camera and that camera broke and that you couldn't keep on filming so yeah that is probably the most con of it that is like how the rental companies handle the camera, but also uh, other people who used the camera before or before have handled that camera. Uh, so that is something not most rental companies have issue of, but uh, yeah, a lot of the ones in the Netherlands, I've always seen that they have like good handling. They take good care of the camera gear. They look really nice and clean and actually taken well care of. And those you don't have like much issue of, but yeah, the one we tried in Hong Kong was a little bit on the dodgy side. Uh, it was actually called a rental camera. So it was a little bit, uh, yeah, not quite sure if we would rent again from the company. But uh, yeah, the main thing of it is like, I still do advise renting cameras from a rental company because you do save a lot of money uh, instead of having to buy a camera. And honestly, you could like uh, try out a lot of cameras and also show that you are able to work with a lot of cameras instead of having to buy all those cameras. And uh, yeah, that was, pretty much it. If there's any uh, questions about renting cameras, please comment it in the comment section here below. While you're there, hit the like and subscribe button. And if you want to see more videos, there'll be videos popping up right now that you can click on. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.